I just bought the dirtiest Pajero Sport that I could find on the internet and much like me it's a little rough around the edges. Welcome back to the channel if you're new around here my name is Richard and this is my new to me 2011 Pajero Sport. Now it has got a couple of aftermarket accessories it's got some wheels it's got a snorkel apparently it's even been chipped and tuned I don't know but what I do know is that it's filthy. Now when buying any second hand vehicle you expect it to come with a little bit of uh, character, a little bit of history. But this one's a little bit of an exception. I went and had a look at uh, a number of the Pajero Sports and it was a car that I just decided this is something that uh, I want. I'm upgrading a little bit from the Jimny, something a little bit more uh, bigger, a little bit more robust, a little bit more for the overlanding instead of uh, you know the weekend warrior 4x4 trail mission. But I got more than I bargained for with this one. Now when I first went and had a look at this vehicle it was in a little bit worse shape it hadn't been cleaned it had just come off a farm in Mapumalanga um, and I thought hey let's do it so inside you can see that when you first have a look you go mm, it's not too bad and then you start looking at the floor and you go mmm cigarettes somebody's been smoking in here a lot of dust uh, although under the carpets they're not too bad but then we start getting into it and we start to see oh wow check at this fancy um, steering wheel cover and then you start to peel back the layers and you start to go like, what am I looking at? So this has already been dusted down a little bit, but you can see here from uh, on the leather, it is filthy. Um, the roof, the roof is incredible. I mean, like, let's see if we can get something to focus over here. What on earth did these people do? I have no clue. This whole roof liner is disgusting. I mean, look at that up there. What on earth did these people get involved? Ah, oh, there we go. So that's the color that it's supposed to be. That's the color that it is now. So this car needs a little bit of TLC. Mechanically, mechanically we are fine though. Uh, we've got a full service history. Everything has been cleaned up. Um, engine bay is filthy and we'll get there in a moment. But then you come around to the back and you start to have a look in the back and you go, hmm, this is not too bad open up the back cover and you go hmm okay things are looking a little bit worse and then you open up the rear and you start to go what i can write my name in here if i wanted to but jerry sport it is disgusting um and then start opening up the back panels and you go what 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 on earth did the previous owner get up to and then we say hey junior climb in the back let's put the seats down and you go to pull the seat belt out and death by dust I mean that is just disgusting it doesn't even want to go back properly now in typical Pajero sport uh, wear and tear I've noticed it in every single one of them and I just don't know if it's just the manufacturing process I don't know if it was just sloppy I don't know what it is but on every single Pajero sport you have all this wear and tear over here over here and over here on the driver's door and a little bit over there on the passenger door now I'm not too worried about that that's something that I will take care of and I will fix up as time uh, goes on but most importantly it's just important to make sure that I've got a good base to work from this car has got full service history 190,000 K's on it and the tires are relatively new so for the most part I think that this was uh, a really good buy but then you start really getting in the, into the nitty-gritties of it and for a vehicle that is now 10 years old it hasn't fared too badly other than the couple of cosmetic things that uh, I've already shown you here. But then we start to get into the dirt again. Here on the air vents, you can see how much red dust there is just inside all of these different things. I mean, if, I don't even know if we're going to get inside there. But if we go in, and hopefully the camera will focus at some point, it is filthy inside there. Inside the cubby hole, you have this dust that is everywhere everywhere that you can see it it is just in the door switches it's disgusting it's everywhere but then on the outside when we come and have a look there is a little bit of a dent uh, in the body over here that i'm hoping that we can get out with uh dentless removal paintless dent removal paintless paintless dent removal i'll get there eventually um, and a typical thing on the pajeros is this little fuller over here that i believe and have been told is from the diesel so diesel cap fills up overflows and this rubber over here doesn't like uh, the diesel all that much kind of 
feel like this is the gift that keeps on giving. So as you can see, I've come and removed this back quarter just because it's so filthy. And as I mentioned, it, hey, maybe I've got a 10 mil spanner here. Definitely 14, 11. Don't know where that's supposed to go. Chisel, screwdriver, um, bra insert. Now, I don't know what they've done in here, but even the sound deadening on the bottom of the load bin here is even starting to go to mush. So this here is the sound deadening and it's literally just peeling off. I don't know what they got up to, but let's get it out. It certainly is fun cleaning out somebody else's old trash. This looks to me like a piece of uh, housing insulation or something that was chucked down into the mud guard and there's lots of mud. I seem to have spotted where all the mud is coming from and that is about the best I'm gonna get to show you what's happening on the top here. But if I climb under the car, you can see some light shining through there and look at that. No wonder we've got a mud problem in this car. I just don't understand why people don't do things properly. So this is what happens when people don't build it better. Instead of fixing the grommet at the bottom, they leave it open and now I have a mountain of mud. next day today and we had a massive storm coming overnight so everything is wet outside here it's an absolute mess but anyway spent some time this morning driving around trying to get all the bits and bobs that I need to give this interior good old clean managed to get some stuff didn't manage to get everything that I wanted to but in the meantime I've gone ahead and I've pulled out all the seats the carpet I sprayed it with uh, the high pressure just to get all well, the high pressure air just to get all of the dust and everything out from behind the panels because it is an absolute mess in here so on the plans for today get everything cleaned up figure out what's going on with the, the mud and the holes in the back here that are allowing the ingress of, of dust, give it a good clean, seal it up again, and then hopefully start on the front. So just a bit of an update, we've managed to pull most of the interior out and I managed to get the center console out and what do I have waiting here for me? But some beautiful drovos. Don't know where that comes from. Don't know what it is, but this is the fun of buying a second-hand car and stripping it to see what you find. Now let's just pause for a moment and say, well, Richard, why are you pulling everything out? Why? Why? This is the reason why. Now, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but that over there, right over there, is some kind of bug. I don't know what it is. I don't care to know what it is. It looks like a giant flea of sorts and probably one of the, the guys that um, live on the farms will know a bit better than what I am because this is where this vehicle comes from. But on the other hand, this is the other reason because this is five rand that I found. In total, I've probably found, I don't know, maybe 20 rand and change, somewhere around there. But I'm gonna do a tally later on of everything I found because I found a bunch of stuff. So we'll take it for now, carry on cleaning up and then onto some fun stuff. And if you made it this far into the video, thank you for joining me. And um, one of the things that really bugged me when I bought this Pajero uh, Sport was my research online led me to believe that there is no um, 
pollen filter or aircon uh, filter in the car. So I've ripped apart the whole interior because one of the problems that I think why there's so much dust in the car and this red dust is just because of no filtration with bringing all that fresh air in when you've got the aircon on or whatever the case is. So this is what I've done. I've pulled apart the dash in the front. This is where the cubby hole fits. And I'm going to dismantle a little bit more over here to see what I can find in the background. And if you've got a Pajero Sport and you'd like to see, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell and the notification so that you can see because I'm not going to put that into this video. Uh, I don't want to get sidetracked. This video is already going on for far too long. All right, so it's getting a little bit late on me tonight. Um, I have ordered some takeaways from my favorite burger joint. The Knob, if you're in Cape Town, really you have to try it out. They are just amazing. So I'm not going to bore you with everything, but I'm cleaning everything, putting it all back together. I'm going to show you a little bit of snippets as I go through and clean different things because it is, again, it is filthy. Using a solution of a uh, little bit of clean green with some water, putting that on just to agitate the dirt, getting it all off. After that, going on with some proper uh, turtle wax interior cleaner just to give it that sheen but not a gloss shine it's going to be a matte finish so i'm going to put some uh time lapses in here so that you guys can just see me putting it all back together so that uh, you can see it all the way from start to finish and then i will check in with you guys again uh once it's all back together or once i've made a little bit of progress um bummer alert my aircon mod didn't work um the filter that i got from the local uh, spare shop is the incorrect one so i'm gonna have to try and make a plan there and um, see if they open tomorrow but we'll see you in a moment so one thing you can do if you really want to get in there and clean is to remove your fan for your aircon I'm just doing it just because this car is so dusty inside you, just to make sure that I've got all that dust out. So when I switch the aircon on again, I have nothing but sweet air. So this is the center console before, as you can see, dirt and grime and dust everywhere. And in three, two, one. And this is where I'm gonna end off this episode for tonight. I know, I know, cliffhanger of note, because why? Because behind me, you still haven't seen what it all looks like put back together what i can show you is this so i put the center console back and as i said the light is terrible but um i put the center console back in together everything is nice crispy clean and the seats still need to be clean still lots to do so i'm going to end it on this one i hope that uh, you'll hit that subscribe button you will hit that like button Tick that notification bell as well so that when I upload the next video of what I've been doing here, you'll get that alert. Thank you for joining me. Peace out.